They say never say never. I say never tell me what to do. A person will never put you in a position above them. That's never a lie, always true. Success never comes without risk and risk never comes without fear. YouTube is a smoking mirror, never how it appear. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ice Water 815. Look, I was going to do a lower board video. Like, I was going to actually call a broker and go through the whole process of actually booking a low versus my last lower board video. I was just getting the rates or whatever. I really didn't want the low. Well, anyway, today a video came across my feed from somebody I don't know or not subscribed to or anything like that. And I watched the video and I was like, this would be a good video to do a reaction video to, like, point out some things that transpired during the video that I think are worth noting. I think that's the best way to say it. Let me uh let me cue it up real quick and we're gonna go through it together and y'all can see like my perspective. YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to another video. Now in this video I'm going to be booking a go off the DAT low board. I'm currently in Michigan right now. I'm getting unloaded as we speak. Uh, so I always wait to the last minute to book a low. This is like my favorite part of you know trucking and being Wait a minute. He just said he always waits to the last minute to book a load. And he in Michigan. I hope he from Michigan. Because that, that, I wouldn't recommend that, man. You should already have your loads lined up before you get to where you're going. When you become more seasoned or something like that, maybe. But when you start now, man, you want to pretty much have your next load already set up before you get unloaded, man. Remember, time is money. You don't want to waste a lot of time sitting there trying to find a load. And let's see what else he said. though. Being an owner-operator, just calling these brokers, negotiate money. He said he liked calling the brokers, negotiating the money. Man, you need to be a dispatcher. I don't know nobody that like that. I like for brokers to call me and negotiate the money. I don't like calling for no load. I like to respond to emails for loads and get calls for loads. Let's keep going though. I just really like this aspect of being an owner operator and, you know, running a trucking company. But before we even get into this video, I'm going to need you to hit that like button so I can get into the YouTube algorithm. I say that every single video. Also, hey yo, hit the like button for me so I can get into whatever algorithm he's talking about. I ain't really sure, but whatever. Hey, do something. If you're not a subscriber, please, please subscribe. You will enjoy my content. And then lastly, drop a comment. Let um, me you know, give me some feedback, give me some motivation, inspiration. And just let me know what you think. I kind of like this intro, though, you know what I'm saying? This, this being real, you know what I mean? It was decent. It's only about 11 or 12 seconds. I like them short intros. I don't like them long intros. The rare so right now, I just found the low, as you can see. It's going from Hudson. All right, so he said he just found a low from Hudsonville, Michigan, going to, I guess this is Poway, California. Picks up on the 9th. I'm assuming that he was calling on his load on the 7th, but I could be wrong. They offering six thousand dollars on it. It's two thousand two hundred and five miles. Now, the first thing I noticed when I looked at this is, it says one out of five hundred loads. That let me know that this guy is green and he willing to circle the globe. There's no way that you should have a search that pull up five hundred loads. When you getting unloaded and you empty and you trying to move your truck. But let's keep going, though. Bill, Michigan to Poway, California. Poway. Which is pretty much like SoCal. SoCal. So, um, it's ice cream. It's one pick and three drops. Oh. He just said it was ice cream. One pick. Three drops. It's July 7th. The middle of produce season. And you going to haul ice cream? From Michigan to California? <sighs> Boy, the more I teach these young guys, the dumber I get. So I'm about to call on this load right now and get some more information on the boat. A load you have posted on a load board. Um, it says that it picks up on Friday. It's going from Hudsonville, Michigan to 
Poway, California. So with loans and with brokers, you always want to just find out as much information, how many drops, what's the temperature, what's the rate, where is it going? Because all of that is really going to affect the, the rate. So Now, he says some things right there that I agree with. Like that last sentence that you want to get all the information because all that affects the rate. I'm with you. I'm with him on that. I'm with him on that. Let's keep going. I try to find out as much information in the beginning as possible. And then that's how I go about negotiating. So um, they're offering $6,000 on this loan, which is a really good rate going east. $6,000 is a really good rate to haul some ice cream from Michigan to California. Boy, 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 boy. To West. Okay, no problem. So that's a really good rate going east to west because most um, rates right now going to California from Michigan are like 3500 to. Wait a minute, bro. That's a really good rate going from east to west because most lows going are 3500 First of all, you in the Midwest, you're not even in the east. And second of all, that ain't even a good rate for the Midwest and you hauling ice cream in July. I mean, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Stop hitting record and talking, man. 3,900. Okay, so from Hudsonville, Michigan, Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Can you see if we're set up with you? What? Can you see if we set up with you? Why does it matter if you set up with them or not? I mean, basically... Say you not set up with them. All you do is fill out a carrier packet and get set up. But why does that even matter? I have no idea why that matters, but I don't care if I'm set up with the broker or not. Until I get all the information and want to book the load, I give them my MC number and I let them tell me if I'm set up or not. It only take like five minutes to fill out a carrier packet and a lot of brokers doing it online now. So I would never ask a broker, can you see if I'm set up with you? <laughs> He said okay, it. perfect. Um, and this could, is a one six three stop load. Uh -huh. It has a stop in Pasadena, Texas. Uh -huh. Pas Texas, and then title in Calgary on the 14th. Pasadena, Texas, somewhere else in Texas, and then it, it finals in Poway, California. Uh, I think she said the fourth. Did she say the fourth? She said Wednesday, whatever that date would be from the ninth. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, and you're offering six thousand on this? Correct. It is a load of ice cream at minus twenty. At minus twenty. Okay. Uh, do you have any room to move on this rate? Whoa. See, <sighs> he make it hard for me to try to teach people how to negotiate for rates or whatever. You never want to ask a broker, do they have any room to move on the rate? You never really want to ask them, like, what's your best rate? I, I've done all these things, I, so I know. You know what I'm saying? I've done it. What you want to do is you want to tell the broker your rate and then let him ask you, do you got any room to move on it? Like, on this particular load right here with the information that I just heard, if I was going to pull that ice cream, I would have politely told her that I, I run this lane quite a bit and uh, I usually get about 7500 on this load, on, on a load like this, especially with the drops. Do you think that's something you're willing to do? And I would go from there. She's either going to say yes or no. And if she went down and said, like, you know, oh, I could do seven on it. I said, I'll tell you what, you know, I'll be here for the next hour or something getting unloaded. If you think you can get me to 75, why don't you give me a call back? If not, you know, maybe we'll do business in the future because there's no way. There's no way I would do that load for six thousand dollars. No, not with. If it was a power only load, yeah. But with my with my reefer and my mm, no negative twenty, nah. I want to haul the load. I don't want to store it. Pick up on a Friday. I gotta hold on to it over the weekend. It don't final till Wednesday. Wow. Unfortunately, she don't have any room to go up. That's all she. Mm -hmm. And I hope he believe in the Easter Bunny. 
and Santa too. Okay. Um, okay. What time does this pick up on Friday? Thank you, I appreciate it. I just booked the load going to California, uh, Poway, California. It delivers next Wednesday and picks up this Friday. Um, so it's pretty much like five days on the truck and it's paying $6,000, which is very, very good. Um, I'm well over $1,000 per day. And then... He said he well over $1,000 per day. Pick it up Friday, get it off Wednesday, $1,000 a day for ice cream? I got a news flash for you, bro. You need to be at thirteen hundred a day for ice cream. Thirteen hundred or better. That's the minimum. Uh, and we, you looking at gross instead of net? Come on, bro. The more I teach them, the dumber I get, man. Um, if you look at the low board, um, other lows going to California are paying like thirty-seven hundred. So I can show you another low right here. It's picking up. Um, you know, on the eighth and it delivers in California, picks up. Now, let me show you why that's a bad comparison. Fort Wayne is a little, the, the miles are, well, the miles ain't too much different, but they offering 3,700. This low pick up on the eighth, his low picks up on the ninth. Obviously, you can't make that in the two days anyway, so I don't think that, that ain't what really gets me. What gets me is, He's saying that they paying thirty seven hundred on this, and he doesn't know that. He doesn't know what they paying, and so he shouldn't assume that that's what. That, just because you took the offer price, don't mean everybody that call in gonna take the offer price. So, it's up in Indiana, which is like one hundred seventy seven miles, it's only paying thirty seven hundred dollars. So I just got six thousand um, dollars. She could not move on her rate at all, bro. Stop it. She could not move on the rate at all. I, I, I'm sorry, man. It's painful for me to watch this video because, let me see. He got, what, 7,000, almost 7,000 views on this video. And it's some, it's some misleading information all throughout this video. So there's some times where you can negotiate with the broker and get more money. But that was like a phenomenal rate. That's well over $2,000. Oh, Sometimes you can you can always negotiate with the broker and get more money, man. That's not a phenomenal rate, man. Stop pressing record and just talking, man. Please, man. You hurting the culture when you do that, bro. That was a mile going from east to west, um, so I had to jump on that. You got two dollars a mile and a reefer, and you bragging about it, bro? Come on, man. Stop it. You hurting the game, man. You 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 mumbling right now. You just like the mumble rappers, man. Hip-hop is dead. I had to take that, but that is the end of this video. If you um, made it to the end of this video, please like so I can get it to the YouTube album. Man, so basically, you know, that's how I... I don't know what else to say about that particular video besides there are a lot of things that I disagree with the way that he handled that whole situation and to put that out there for people to think that that's how you negotiate. That is not how you negotiate rates when you're dealing with the spot market. Please understand what you're getting yourself into. He could make so much more money if he hired a dispatcher who is seasoned in this because he obviously not, man. Matter of fact, if y'all know him, I want to get in touch with him because I'm going to book some lows and then I'm um, going I'm going I'm to give them to him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I don't be doing that. I don't be doing that. Hey, this is your boy, Ice Water 815, man. Don't forget, you can get 30 days free on the dad low, boy. Link going to be in the description. And look, it don't matter what type of truck you drive, as long as it's deliver a load. But you ain't going to make no money in trucking if you can't keep that left door closed. Hey, I'll see you next video, YouTube. Y'all be safe. Been through a lot of pain in my life and I pray the Lord take it all away.